Hey guys, it's a little behind the scenes video, if you will. Uh, now I was just kind of bored and figured I'd do a little video. Um, thought maybe maybe some of you might be wondering what does DD Ball do when he's not recording videos? Well, a lot because you know I haven't I haven't really been ever as active as I've hope to be on YouTube, just because, you know, lots of other stuff going on, but, uh, yeah, let me, let me tell you a little bit about, uh, what I do in my free time, uh, when I'm not playing music and stuff, I'm not working on, uh, recording a new cover video, or, uh, writing some new music for one of my side projects, um, yeah, what I, what I do for a living is, uh, I'm what's called a... DSP, direct support professional. So um, I'm I'm sort of like a a home health aide, I guess you could call it. Um, I work with people with in intellectual disabilities. Um, a lot of the times, physical disabilities as well. So I work in a a residential environment. You know, just a a regular house with a few individuals that I take care of and. Um, you know, I just basically do do everything that regular life entails for them and with them. So, you know, I, I cook sometimes, clean the house, uh, administer their medications, um, take their blood sugar, <clears throat> blood pressure, things like that, take them on outings, um, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past couple years, and, um, yeah, it's, it's not a bad option for now, just because um, of the schedule I have. It, it at least allows me a good chunk of time to work on my hobbies and stuff, so. Um, and, of course, it's, you know, it has, has its rewards. It's a rewarding kind of field to work in, I guess. Um, I wish the pay was a little bit better, because, you know, we are kind of responsible for a lot of different tasks, but... Uh, yeah, so that's what I do for my job. Um, <clears throat> I had in the past worked at a lot of restaurants and stuff, just as a line cook or, you know, just general help, whatever. Um, worked at a, I've worked in call centers before, doing like technical support, things like that. Uh, worked at warehouses, shipping companies, FedEx, UPS, all, all those places. I worked at, I've had so many jobs in my life. Um, there's very few that really I stuck with for a long time, mainly because I moved a lot. Um, but yeah, it's been, been a pretty interesting uh, choice of options since I first started working. So uh, never really done anything that I liked, <laughs> you know, like that was, that I felt was really fulfilling, like my, my purpose or, um, was, you know, using my talents well or anything like that. Uh, except for maybe some of the cooking jobs I had where I had a little bit more freedom to, to make what I wanted and not just, you know, cook up menu items. Um, so yeah, there's been, there's been a few jobs that were pretty decent that in a way were related to things that I liked, but uh, someday I'd like to, you know, work in the music industry somehow. I don't know really what I want to do yet, but, you know, other than just writing music and, and performing sometimes. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, enough about the, the career stuff. Um, so what else do I do in my free time? Um, I do drawings and, uh, have a couple canvases here I can show you. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I hadn't really made any canvas drawings um, for a while, a few years, but then I made this one recently. And this, these are all done freehand, so I don't use any kind of, you know, stencil or rulers or anything like that to make the lines. So, they're not quite perfect, but that's kind of the idea. But anyway, this is a one that I did here. So it's got paint on the outer edges here 
in the, in the red areas. Um, this is just, you know, Sharpie marker, colored pencil. And then I took um, some cutouts here. These are just cut paper glued to the canvas. Um, and these are, I don't know if you recognize these, uh, the imagery here, but this is from the album art that came with Radiohead's Kid A album. So, um, yeah, I just kind of, you know, cut them to size and pasted them in there. It's pretty cool. Call this one the Wheel of Metamorphosis. Um, let's see. Another one here. <clears throat> this is another uh, band-related one. Uh, so, similar idea. No paint on this one. It's all just marker and cut paper. But uh, this one here may recognize these characters um this this is kind of the same idea as that last canvas except with uh album art from the now now from the gorillas or gorillas um yeah so that one came out pretty cool it was, that was this was a more of a for fun one i kind of uh the lines didn't come out quite as straight as i wanted to because the markers were bleeding into the canvas but that's uh, something you can address with using smaller markers. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll do that in the future. Um, and then this one, this one I, is probably my favorite out of the three that I've done recently. I've done these last three in the past few weeks here, but uh, this one I call, what did I call this one? Uh, Technical Difficulties on the Field of Play. It's a long title, but there's that one. And same idea. It's all freehand drawn. Uh, I didn't even I didn't I didn't even measure where the center of this was going to be. So yeah, as you can see, I had to com compensate a little bit for my lack of uh, precision there. Just did my best to eyeball the center point because that's where I started, um, and then I colored the rest in with you know highlighters and markers. So uh, I tend to like these bright colored ones here this one came out really cool uh, if anyone's interested in buying some memory collector artwork um, I do have a Facebook page it's just called memory glyphs like G L Y P H S um, so you can contact me on there or even on Facebook or YouTube if you're interested in any of these I do plan to possibly get these uh, resin sealed so that you know, they won't degrade over time, but we'll see. Anyway. Yeah, so I do a lot of little drawings like that. I, I could go through my entire sketchbook, but that's probably for another video. Um, uh, oh, in the meantime, let me show you this too. So, yeah, I've been working on uh, certain artwork, or you know, getting certain artwork of mine printed onto clothing, so I started a, a little t-shirt side company uh, called Memory Collector Apparel, and as you can see, that's, uh, that's the design that I drew for my uh, last, my most recent Memory Collector album. It's the Future Eyes design. So, um, yeah, I do also have these shirts for sale and a bunch of other designs. I'll put the link in the description, uh, but it's it's on Spreadshirt.com. If you look up, if you go on there and look up Memory Collector Apparel, you can see all my designs, and they are printed on a bunch of different items, uh, not just clothing, other stuff too. You can get stickers and mugs and other random stuff like that. But yeah, so I got that. So I got the t-shirt the company and designs that I'm trying to uh, work on. I've got the, the just regular designs that I do on canvas. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, other than spending time with my family and, you know, I have, I have two kids, um, two boys, and, you know, try to try to spend time with them, not, not just ignore them and you know, work on my hobbies all the time, but, uh, yeah, I'm lucky to have the time that I have with them, and 
uh, not be working as much as I used to, and I don't know. I'm at a pretty good place in my life right now, I feel like. Um, things were a little bit crazy for a while. Didn't really know what was going to happen, but uh, everything kind of realigned itself, and for now I'm, I'm uh, in a good spot, so you know, I've been able to work on art and, and actually be motivated to do any of this stuff, because that's, that's the struggle a lot of the times, is just finding the motivation, finding the energy, um, and yeah, I've had to work on making changes in my life to try and get more energy, you know, start exercising more, and try to eat a little bit healthier, um, not partake in vices as much, but yeah, it's all a work in progress. Uh, until then, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, just kind of a random one, but uh, yeah, I am working right now on a new project, that's why I know every time I say I'm going to get more videos out, something else ends up popping up, so I've been working on another project, a side project, um, not really releasing any details about it yet, but <clears throat> it's me and a friend of mine, and I'm uh, pretty excited about it because I just downloaded a whole bunch of new software plugins for my uh, music software that I use, and uh, now I can make, you know, I have a lot more freedom in that realm, and I can make a lot more quality sounding tracks now that I have uh, a lot of these cool tools to work with, so uh, looking forward to sharing that with everybody once I get everything in order and once we get a good song fully recorded and mastered. I, I at least want to have one song done before, you know, just announcing that we're a band now. <laughs> That's that's <clears throat> you can get into trouble doing that, you know. Even though I do kind of like working backwards and you know announcing things before they're ever really a reality. Um, you don't want to put crazy expectations or pressures on yourself. So yeah, I do want to record at least one track before releasing any further details. But it'll be soon. Mark my words. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good day. And uh, catch you later.